One, two, three, fuck it. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be giving you a different review and things you should know before you start using it. If you are not careful when using different, it can result in chemical burns and have the opposite effect when regarding clearing your acne and fading hyperpigmentation. So if you're interested to learn more about how to use a Retin-A like Differin, keep on watching. Just so you guys can get a little bit of a background of my acne journey, before Differin, I had cystic acne my entire life, and now that I'm on Differin for 13 weeks now, my skin has been completely clear. Okay, let's get started. Differin can actually cause acne. Retin-A's like Differin can actually cause acne if you are not careful. It's called the purge. The purge occurs for the first three to four weeks of using Differin where your skin actually gets worse. It can cause a lot of irritation in the beginning if you do not know how to use Differin properly. And when there's irritation, there's acne. When you start using Differin, your skin is not used to the topical going onto your face. Your skin is going to react, especially if you have acne prone or sensitive skin. This for me was the hardest step on my journey with Differin. This is why it is so important to be gentle on your skin while using a Retin-A like Differin. So I suggest using a simple skincare routine. CeraVe personally works really well for me and for many others and has really great ingredients for hyperpigmentation. The secret is simplicity. Because your skin is so vulnerable during the time using Differin, it is extremely important that you use a sunscreen that has at least 30 SPF in it. Personally, I'm a fan of CeraVe products and I really like them and a lot of other people do too, but you want to basically just find a sunscreen that is made specifically for your face. Dr. Dre is a dermatologist here on YouTube and she's made a couple videos regarding what sunscreens are good for acne and acne prone and sensitive skin, so if you guys want, I will link it in the description box so you can go over there and watch her video. The main point is that if you do not use the sunscreen every day, regardless of if you are on a Retin-A or not, but especially if you are, it is extremely important that you do or else your hyperpigmentation spots can flare and just become even more difficult to remove or fade. Going off of that is getting a good moisturizer. It's a myth that people who have oily skin should not be using moisturizers because everyone needs a moisturizer. Every time you wash your face, you are removing lipids from the top layer of your skin that are necessary for providing the plump, moisturized skin that you have. So by using a moisturizer, it helps to replenish and maintain that lipid layer. Another important rule for going on to different is that you should refrain from using jade rollers, exfoliants, scrubs, masks, anything extra from this routine. These can dry out your skin and cause irritation. Think of your skin as a wound. If you had a big gash on your leg, you would want to be super gentle with it and you should do the same thing with your skin. For example, when it comes to washing your face, don't scrub it like crazy, just be gentle, use, use super soft fingers when it comes to washing your face, so the, the, the mechanical brushes that people will use for their face, if you're on different, especially, or a Retin-A, I would suggest not using those because they can be super harsh on the skin when it already is extremely irritated and inflamed. Now the next thing I want to discuss when using Differin is benzoyl peroxide alongside of it. A lot of people will use benzoyl peroxide with Differin in their skincare routine. Some people can also have worse effects. The main point with benzoyl peroxide and Differin is that if you do not space it out, especially when you start using it, it can become extremely irritating, so it's just important to learn how your skin works with the benzoyl peroxide. I figured out that using Differin every night and 2.5% benzoyl peroxide every third night 
works extremely well for my skin, allowing it to benefit my skin without irritating it. Some people are able to use benzoyl peroxide every night alongside the Differin, but I would suggest starting benzoyl peroxide after the purge, so about three to four weeks once you've started the Differin and your skin starts to calm down and start using it once a week and work your way up to every night or every other night, whatever works for you. And lastly, using Differin comes with a ton of patience. It is not easy for anyone when it comes to using a Retin-A. This was super hard for me because I had cystic acne and that was so painful and just made me super self-conscious around others. You know, I'd constantly think about what they were thinking about my skin every time I had a conversation with someone else, so it can really have an effect on your mental health. If you want different to work, you have to give it time. That is my biggest tip to you all. After the fourth and fifth weeks for me, my purge started slowing down and it felt like my skin was clearing up overnight. If you have any questions and it's not working for you, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you right away. I've had acne my entire life. It's been a struggle, I know. And you know, I just want to share these tips with you guys because they have helped me and they've helped so many other people. Differin is obtainable for many of people. You don't even need to go to the dermatologist. You can find it at pretty much every drugstore there is. At Walmart, you can get it on Amazon. I can link it down below for you guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Again, if you are enjoying my videos, let me know. Leave a comment down below, like it, subscribe to me, hit the little bell button so you know when I'm uploading. Thank you guys again, and I will see you in my next video.